In today's class, we will uh, discuss uh, dynamic complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic. Uh, so in the last class, already we seen uh, uh, static CMOS circuits. So in static CMOS circuits, so we have to use uh, uh, P, P block as a uh, pull up uh, category and uh, N block as a pull down uh, category. So here we have to use only two type of blocks, two type of blocks in static uh, complementary metal oxide semiconductor. So by using P-type and N-type transistor, so static is nothing but it is simply a simple CMOS uh, circuit, a simple CMOS circuit, but uh, the, a dynamic uh, category. So we have to use some controlling uh, or uh, pre-charged conditions, pre-charged condition. That means, uh, uh, whatever here uh, you see uh, when you observe the this uh, 8.33 figure so that is domino gate logic and uh, some of the realization that will be implemented with help of the domino logic so here so in dynamic also we have uh, uh, n block and the p block but mainly here we have to use some controlling uh, signals controlling so that controlling signal will be denoted with the uh, pi values pi uh, that means our clock signals so in static cmos uh, we didn't use any type of uh, controlling signals but here are dy dynamic cmos logic we have to use uh, pre-charge and uh, commutation uh, techniques pre-charge and commutation techniques that means uh, the commutation is nothing but so either the circuit uh, whatever we designed under uh, uh, dynamic CMOS logic. Uh, so that may be operated uh, in the case of uh, either it may be a evolution phase or uh, uh, charge pre-charge phase. Either it may be worked as a uh, evolution phase and a pre-charge phase. So this uh, dynamic CMOS circuits uh, are realized based on uh, pre-charge logic, pre-charge logic. So mainly here we have to use uh, two basic configurations of uh, dynamic CMOS circuit. So in the first case, uh, here we have to use N block is used as a pull down. Uh, so that will be shown in uh, uh, in the above diagram. And uh, in the second case, uh, we have to use P, P block, uh, P block as a pull down PDN case. So in the first case, in this case, the output is charged to one. So while the uh, circuit is, will be operated in pre-charge condition. And in the evolution phase, the output either discharge to zero through the PDM. So if there is a discharge path, depending on the input combination, so otherwise the output maintains the one state. So in the second case, that means uh, a, a P block case, so a P block is used as a P pull up network, pull up uh, network. So in the pre-charge phase, output is discharged to zero level. And in the evolution phase, uh, it is charged to one level through the pull up network. So if there is a charging path, depending on the input combination, otherwise the output remains at zero level otherwise the uh, input at zero level so he, mainly here we have to discuss uh, uh, different type of domino uh, cmos categories so domino and nora cmos categories so here uh, uh, <coughs> in uh, dynamic cmos circuits uh, so mainly we have to use the n block and the p block circuits n block and p, p block circuits so here, uh, the advantages of uh, dynamic CMOS logic is, uh, so mainly uh, the main advantages of the dynamic CMOS logic is, so it combines the CMOS circuit, it combines uh, uh, the low power of static CMOS and the lower chip area of pseudo NMOS. So already we seen uh, a static CMOS, static complementary metal oxide semiconductor circuits and also a uh, pseudo n mass circle pseudo n mass so in case pseudo n mass we are using only one type of transistor that means uh, 
compared to CMOS technology, uh, the number of transistors will be reduced in pseudo N mass. So that uh, whenever the N number of uh, transistors will uh, reduce, uh, the area of the circuit or the, the area of the transistor takes place will also reduces, will also reduces. So the number of transistors is substantially lower compared to static CMOS. Uh, that is uh, that is equal to n plus 2 versus 2n so here the, whatever the number of transistors so uh, required for uh, to design a specific uh, logic to design a specific logic so that will be uh, completely redu reduced when we are uh, using a dynamic cmos logic so this dynamic cmos logic is uh, faster than the static cmos so due to less number of components and the less delay and the less power consumption and uh, uh, less uh, circuit, uh, whatever uh, less uh, components will take place within the circuit. So due to that factors, uh, so this will be very faster, very faster. So fastly it will be implement uh, the desired functionality faster than the static CMOS. And the next one, so in uh, dynamic CMOS, there is uh, no uh, uh, different, uh, that means the indefinite short circuit power dissipation. So no short circuit power dissipation occurs in dynamic CMOS. So it will be that uh, short circuit power dissipation will be, uh, we are uh, uh, expect uh, when static pull-up devices are used to reduce the charge sharing. So whenever uh, the dynamic CMOS will be used as uh, some of the static circuits, so at the time uh, uh, that will be the type of circuits will introduce a uh, uh, short circuit power dissipation. Next one, uh, no glitching transition and the no glitching power dissipation uh, in this, because uh, there is any node can uh, undergo at the most one power consumed tra transition for clock cycle. So based on this reason, the, so these are uh, uh, based on uh, this uh, factors. Uh, so these are the uh, different advantages involved in uh, dynamic CMOS circuit, dynamic uh, CMOS circuit. So next one, uh, disadvantages of uh, disadvantages of dynamic CMOS logic is, so here uh, it has the higher switching activity. That means whenever, uh, whatever we are using the controlling signal by using the controlling signals, so the switching activity will be very higher. Switching activity that means we require more number of uh, uh, more number of uh, activities to <coughs> to implement a desired uh, desired uh, circuit or desired circuit. So here higher switching activity and also it is robust to static CMOS and the clocks. Q problem in cascaded realization. So it is also suffers from some charge sharing problem. So because of we are using some of the static components uh, uh, to uh, implement uh, a different type of logic functionalities uh, in different uh, circuits. And also it suffers from charge leakage problem. So because of it will be operated in pre charge mode and evaluation mode, it will be uh, Trans uh, evaluated in two cases, and it is difficult to implement uh, power down circuits. So uh, whenever we are using uh, power down type of circuits, so this uh, uh, dynamic CMOS logic will not be used for those uh, circuits. And with the matured synthesis tools are not available. So uh, for uh, uh, synopsis and uh, uh, for different uh, whatever the tools we are using VLSA circuits. Uh, uh, in that circuits, we didn't use any type of, uh, so these type of uh, dy uh, dynamic circuits uh, uh, to implement those type of categories, those uh, type of categories. So uh, these are the main advantages and the disadvantages of uh, dynamic circuits. So by using uh, uh, all, uh, whatever uh, we discussed, uh, that uh, rules for uh, to design any type of uh, uh, combinational circuits uh, so that same rules will be implemented or uh, by using those rules we can uh, implement any type of uh, logic functionality any type of logic functionality in dynamic CMOS logic 
So for example, we have to see uh, one example for this one uh, already uh, in this. So in the upper part, that means uh, 8.33 A diagram. So in figure uh, 8.33 A diagram. So we have to use a simple functionality so that will be implemented with uh, uh, domino CMOS di domino dynamic CMOS logic that is f is equal to a plus b bar into c so here uh, in pull up part we are using the pi signal with the pmos device and the pull down we have to use uh, an n type transistor n type enhancement transistor so in between uh, p type transistor and n type transistor we used n block n block that means whatever the logic function we have to implement so that will be implemented with help of the n type transistors n type uh, transistor so n block so in case of the uh, p block uh, uh, whenever we are using the p block so uh, we have to use uh, only p type transistor to implement uh, any type of functionalities any type of uh, functionalities so here uh, some of the special type circuits uh, those are nothing namely domino and nora uh, the type of circuits uh, so these type of circuit doesn't introduce the clock skew problem clock skew problem that means in clock signals the it doesn't provide any delay uh, in this uh, structure in this mainly in this structure so another type of uh, uh, another type of uh, uh, design it is a pass transistor logic pass transistor logic so here in this uh, so it is similar to a dynamic but we have to use uh, uh, we have to seriously combined uh, one or more uh, more circuits with a cascaded manner cascade that means pass transistor logic means uh, uh, it will be seriously connected uh, within a same manner same manner so in this uh, in this pass transistor logic uh, we have uh, various members in the uh, ptl family so this is one type of uh, family so in this uh, family we have different members those are nothing but cpl so in short form we can call it as uh, uh, cpl that is complementary fast transistor logic so ptl means the full form of the ptl means uh, fast transistor logic fast transistor logic and so in this uh, uh, in that family one of the member is uh, uh, complementary fast transistor logic so another member is uh, swing restore restored pass transistor logic and double pass transistor logic so in short form you can call it as dpl and another one is single rail pass transistor logic so in short form we can call it as leap leap so single rail pass transistor logic so among the different ptl families so these lp leap cells based on the single rail ptl requires minimum number of transistors so by using the uh, by using this type of pass transistors also we have to implement uh, any any type of uh, any type of uh, uh, it may be uh, any type of digital, digital circuit either it may be a sequential or either it may be a combinational circuit so main uh, the advantages of the pass transistor logic is so it consumes the very lower area so due to small number of transistors and smaller input loads so we are for a uh, simple and uh, uh, two for two inputs or three inputs. so we have to use uh, uh, this type of fast transistor logic so compared to static and uh, dynamic uh, uh, cmos uh, categories so we we require a very <laughs> lower area where it will be uh, that will be uh, in pass transistor logic that will be takes place uh, very lower area and uh, because of uh, so that uh, technology has very smaller number of transistors and smaller input now so next uh, as the ptl is your ratio less so minimum dimension transistors can be used so in pass transistor logic we didn't mean uh, any ratios that means uh, uh, we didn't maintain any inverter to inverter ratio or channel to channel ratio and uh, length and width so we didn't uh, use any type of uh, measurements uh, within this type of uh, within this type of uh, 
technology or uh, within this uh, arrangement so next one uh, no short circuit current and leakage current and leading to low power dissipation so due to a lower area and uh, uh, there is no ratio less uh, uh, between the minimum dimension transistor transistor properties so due to the, uh, due to these uh, factors uh, so in this uh, it doesn't have no short circuit current there will be a, uh, there, there is no short circuit from one component to another component or one uh, edge to another edge or one uh, uh, node to another node so there is no short edge so due to this uh, uh, advantages uh, because of no short circuit current and the leakage current uh, uh, there is uh, so it will be uh, perfectly operated under a low power category perfectly operated under low power category so this type of pass transistor logic so and this pass transistor logic also have some disadvantages uh, those are nothing but uh, so when input signal is steered through several stages of pass transistors the delay can be considerable so if we are having uh, uh, we have more number of stages that means n number of the stages will be increases uh, with the n number so then the delay the delay will introduce in or uh, the delay will collapse the so the entire advantages of the ptl and there is a voltage drop uh, and uh, there is a voltage drop uh, in this uh, whenever we are using uh, n mos transistor and this will be it, it is uh, necessary to use swing distortion logic at the gate output so there is a uh, it is also introduced the voltage drop with with uh, uh, with help of the nmos transistor so this pos transistor uh, structure requires uh, complementary control signals and dual rail logic it is usually necessary to provide all signals in complementary form so it is uh, possible to introduce the sneak path the sneak path so these are uh, some of the Uh, arrangements or uh, some of the technologies we have to uh, implement or uh, whenever we minimize the switched capacitance that means whenever we control the capacitance uh, uh, properties or uh, capacitance uh, uh, values related with the design so whenever we control uh, this uh, uh, capacitance then also uh, the, uh, uh, to control uh, the capacitance so we have to use uh, some of the arrangements those are nothing but the system level approaches and the architectural approaches and also static cmos and the dynamic cmos so by using these approaches also so we have to control uh, uh, that uh, capa- whatever the capacitance arises within the mos devices so whenever we control control the uh, capacitance values capacitance values then the Uh, circuit or the design uh, uh, will not introduce uh, the static power dissipation and the dynamic power dissipation dynamic power dissipation so whenever uh, that circuit doesn't introduce static and the dynamic power dissipation so then that device or that circuit conveniently operated under low power category low power category so Uh, this is about uh, different type of uh, uh, technologies we have to use in uh, low power category mm. next class we will continue